and welcome to my channel, Charlotte and Faith. Today I have another Yes Style haul for you. If you haven't seen my last Yes Style haul, I will link it up above. But I have a lot of stuff to get through, so let's just get into this. So the first things I want to talk about are the jewellery that I got and the jewellery that I'm actually wearing. This pearl necklace with the little gold chain and pearl pendant at the end which is really beautiful um, I'm loving pearls at the moment I think pearls look really really elegant and sophisticated um, hence why I also got these pearl earrings which I just think are so so adorable like little pearl hearts dangly earrings just I love them way more than I thought I would so these are probably my favorite pieces of jewelry I also got these um, triple layer hoop, silver hoop earrings which I also really like actually so they don't connect at the end but they give the illusion of there being three hoops in your ear instead of just the one so those are really cool if you see my other videos you know I can't go shopping without buying a chain necklace so I got this one and um, it's got two chunky-ish chains on and then it's got a sparkly padlock at the bottom so that's quite nice then I got this purple belt which I thought would look nice just to add a bit of colour to an outfit just to add a pop in there it looks really nice against this green actually yeah I got this belt um, it's quite rattly uh, it's making quite a lot of noise but and it doesn't look that big actually I don't know if it will go around my waist yeah it's big enough for me um, I'll probably have to use the first or second hole but it will still function as a belt so that's good now onto the clothes so like my last yes style haul most of the clothes didn't actually fit me but um, I'm gonna start with the clothes that did fit so you can see try ons so I got this red baby tee with a leopard print heart and leopard print trims um, on the arms and neck uh, it doesn't have it on the bottom but it's really cute that's the back it's a ribbed material and I thought this heart was really cute the heart is made out of a different material that's quite soft and it's embroidered on there I got this in the size large and it's still quite small I'm a UK 16 so if you are I'd say a UK 14 and above I'd go for the large but I think that's really cute I don't have much red in my wardrobe so I thought red would be a nice addition next I have this brown vest top um, it's not as cropped as the last one um, but it's a similar design with a heart embroidered in the center and leopard print around the edges it's plain at the back and then with that heart on the front it's really cute i got this in a size large um it's different material from the last t-shirt it's not ribbed it's this soft cottony material um the heart isn't embroidered in there as nicely like it's a bit more rough around the edges but I think that also looks nice so there's that it's really cute then I got this um, lettuce trim rib knit long sleeve top to layer things with um, the sleeves are quite short they don't fit my arms great um, but the length in the body is okay it could be longer but it's not too short it's also also a lettuce trim in the bottom I don't know if this was one size I think it must have been one size because there's not a label on it telling me the size um, but it is it's not crazy small but I'd say it's maybe like a medium I had to go back and double check the sizing of this because if I got it I would have chosen it in a large but I feel like it's one size so I don't know but um, I got this to layer with things, with things like vests and maybe t-shirts if I feel cold. But there's that. 
Next thing I got was this hoodie. Um, it's meant to be an oversized hoodie. It's not really oversized on me, but it's just like a normal size hoodie. Um, and it has these daisies embroidered on the sleeves. Um, the colour of this hoodie is a bit different to what it was in the picture. In the picture, it was a darker blue and also the daisies looked a bit different in the picture. They looked embroidered on differently. I suppose these ones look a bit cheaper than it did in the picture. Um, so it's not true to the pictures that were shown. But it's still good. It's a good size hood to fit my big fat head in. The zip is a bit janky. It does... Oh, it's well, it's working now. It does go up, but it's not always smooth. And it has pockets in, which is good. But it's very thin and it's not very soft on the inside. So, would I recommend this hoodie? Maybe I'd splash out a bit more on a, on a hoodie because this one is thin and it was like 20 something pounds. And I don't think it's worth it for that but it fits so hey next i got this vest which is a knockoff for quite an expensive brand i've forgotten what the brand is called but i will put their name here so that you know what the brand is called it's quite an expensive one but i got this knockoff it's a black sweater vest with this big skull graphic on it um it's plain in the back and then it has these white lines on the borders of the arms and the v-neck the um head hole and the arm holes are fairly small on this vest i got this in a size large and it pretty much just fits so um i'd size up with this one i wanted it to be oversized but it's not it's like fairly tight actually so just be careful with the sizing on this one but um it's really good quality it's quite thick and it's soft it's soft on the inside the inside has got this like white stitching on it but overall i think it's a really good vest really good quality and worth the price i had to get one of these little collar things um for layering under sweatshirts i just had to because it's so convenient and you can wear it um when it's too hot to wear a full shirt. I mean, who wants to wear a full shirt under their sweatshirt? That's just uncomfortable. So I got this collar and it has these elastic bits that go under your armpits so it stays in place. Has four buttons on it and you can put it all the way down. And it goes down quite low so that if you wanna wear something lower cut, it will still work. So this was really good. Next, I got this sunflower vest top with um, a sunflower pattern on it and it's kind of like a cream background with these beige borders on the sleeves, neck and bottom. It also continues the pattern on the back, so each side has five sunflowers on it, which is pretty cute. Uh, I believe this was one size, um, so it's quite tight fitting on me but it does fit nicely. I'd probably wear it with nothing else underneath. So I probably wouldn't layer this just because it's a bit too tight to have anything underneath for me personally. The inside has this like line knitting on, so it has like chunks of color, but it doesn't matter about the inside. Why am I talking about the inside? What am I on about? So yeah, that's the sunflower vest. Next up, I just have this uh, plain beige vest, um, this sweater vest. Uh, I think this is quite a good fit. Um, like the last one, I'd probably wear it with uh, nothing else underneath just because um, I think it did come in one size and it's a bit tight, but um, it still fits nicely. It's just a nice simple piece um, to go with anything pretty much and the material is really nice it's really good quality the knit's really soft on my skin and I recommend this product it's nice because the bottom band of it is more chunky if you can see that the bottom bit is a bit thicker so it kind of elasticates your waist nicely I don't know what I'm saying I'm not explaining this very well but the bottom bit 
it's more chunky than the armpits which is nice the last item that actually fit me is this blazer that i got in the size extra large um, it has functioning pockets and it has these nice big black buttons um, it is quite thin um, but the inside the lining is good quality and it's quite soft and I think it's nice that it's thin because then I can wear it in like hotter weather as just a thin jacket to throw on the back is just the plain plaid material and um, I like that it's just got the one line of buttons um, I prefer blazers like that instead of I can't remember what it's called when they have the double line of buttons I know there's a word for it but I'm not classy enough to know that so I'm sorry but I really like this blazer I got it in size extra large and it fits the sleeves are a bit short but I could just not move my arms and then it'll be fine so good stuff so those were all the clothes that I got from YesStyle that fitted me now I'm just gonna whiz through the clothes that didn't fit and give you a very very quick brief opinion okay so first up is the very famous fallen angel top with this fairy type graphic on it I got the long sleeve version um, however I have seen lots of people get the short sleeve version but I just wanted long sleeves because I live in the UK where most of the time the weather calls for long sleeves it's this nice green color with yellow contrast stitching the back is plain and true to its name it is a baby tee um, I couldn't even get this on um, it doesn't fit over these yeah it just doesn't fit it's up on my Depop which is linked in the description so if you'd like to buy it it's there for you also I got that top in a size large and I can't fit it on so if you're the same size as me don't buy it same with this top I got it in a size large and it doesn't fit couldn't get it over my chest area like the first two tops that I showed it's this really nice um, it's got this really nice um, embroidered leopard print heart on it and then it's got nice brown sleeves uh, with a white body plain on the back uh, but it is well made and a good material so if it will fit you I'd say go for it but that is a size large and it's very small so be aware next is an item that was uh, one size but it's never ever gonna fit me I mean look at this like I'm out here and it's in here it's just it's just not gonna work I thought this would be a really nice piece to layer on top of a bralette or a nice like cami or just a plain vest top um, alas it does not fit it's up on my Depop but yeah it's tiny I'd say it's a UK size 4 so that is really 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 small the next item I was so disappointed with because I've seen other people on YouTube get it and it fits them. Um, it is a one size item and it's this cardigan. I mean, look at this. The arms, the arms are okay, but the size of the body, it's just, it's just not, it's just not. It has these beautiful heart shaped buttons, multicolored all the way down pink and white check fluffy material really soft on the inside would be so comfortable if it fit but it doesn't next is an item that i was not very hopeful for but when it came i was like wow the quality of this is amazing because the quality is so good um it just doesn't fit me so i would recommend this item it's these velvet flares with a floral print um they're a nice length and they have a nice flare at the bottom it just so happens that um they don't run big enough to be in my size so i got these in a size large and i can put them on they just don't fit right um so i would actually highly recommend this product if you like this style and i'm gonna keep searching for something similar that will fit me but they are such a good quality 
the velvet is so nice the inside is soft and comfortable and yeah i really like this this product and i hope someone else out there will too next up is some brown corduroy straight leg trousers um i saw someone else on youtube get this exact pair and they look really good on her um so i wanted to get the same i got them in a size large um however she failed to mention that they're really really thin they're like so thin the material i don't know if you can see by the way it moves but or if you can see through it I mean I can see through it but the material is just not it for me it feels poor quality there's the zip seems quite cheap as well it doesn't go up and down that smoothly I mean it is now because I'm on camera but yeah it just these trousers are not it and I wouldn't say they're worth what you pay but they are worth the price they are on my Depop so check it out the next item is also disappointing because of the material and the fact that it didn't fit. Um, couldn't get it over my bone. Um, the material on the website looks like cotton, however this is very synthetic. It's just this white, is it a maxi skirt? I don't know. It's this white, what I would call a flowy skirt. Um, and it's got tears in it. And it's also got this under layer in it so it won't be see-through so it would be really nice if it fits and if the material is slightly nicer but yeah good skirt on the whole now this is something that I don't re recommend at all um, I got them in the size large they're these zebra flared trousers and um, the material again is really thin it doesn't look like the pictures they showed on the website um, it's like it is a see-through material and it's very very it doesn't smell but it's very synthetic and it doesn't feel like it will be comfortable on your skin um, I think these did fit me but I just didn't like them on and I don't like the material the, the waistband is elasticated and it has these strings that you can pull which cinch the waist in I just didn't like them I guess so I don't recommend buying these zebra trousers the last item that I got that didn't fit is a tennis skirt it's this grey and pink plaid one um, I think this is really cute although the material the material isn't the softest and it's quite synthetic um, they do have safety shorts on the inside so that's good but I think this would look cute like from afar if you look too close you can see that the material is kind of weird but on the whole a good good skirt I got it in size 2 extra large still doesn't fit um, sad times so that was what I got from YesStyle in my second order. If you haven't seen what I got in my first order, I will link the video so you can go watch my last YesStyle haul. But thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around if you have till this point. It's lovely to see you here and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!